Welcome back. You're still watching Nile Cruz and a month after being assigned the culture portfolio, Mr. Ali Abdelaziz began sacking his ministry's leading officials. Ahmed Begahid, as one, was dismissed as head of the General Egyptian Book Organization. Abdel Nasser Hassan as head of Egypt's National Library and the Archives of the NLA. Ines Abdel Daim as the chair of the Cairo Opera House. And uh, Salah al Mirigi as the fine arts sector's chief. In response, Saeed Taufi, uh, Secretary General of the Supreme Council for Culture, resigned in protest against the sacking. Also, Camellia Sophie, head of the Department of Foreign Cultural Relations, also announced her departure. And today we'll be talking uh, mostly about this uh, incident, but uh, Dr. Baha Abdel Migi, professor of English literature, literature and novelist, would also be telling us more about the Egyptian culture and how to preserve it in the future. Hello, Dr. Baha. Uh, nice meeting you. Hello. Uh, I guess the main question would be about situation uh, at the Ministry of Culture now. Yes. How would you see it as a writer and a novelist and of course a part of this ministry? How would you see the sackings and the situation there? Yeah, I think what is going on now is a reaction uh, towards what, what, what is happening or what was happening during the last two years of the Egyptian revolution. I think mm -hmm. it's, um, it's uh, some kind of a, 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 a stream against the despotism and uh, injustice which has been uh, fallen upon the writers and uh, uh, fine uh, artists uh, I think the last 10 years you understand? so this kind of uh, reactions is a counter attack to the chaotic situation within the Egyptian culture mm -hmm. because we are not controlled by agenda or a futuristic plan to improve our culture because do you know that Egypt uh, from the beginning of history mm -hmm. uh, it, it, it exports culture and civilization mm -hmm. to the whole area and to the whole world uh, during 60s for example 1960s yes. I think we have many many good writers who created what we call the Egyptian Renaissance mm -hmm. uh, whether in the field of theater whether in the field of novel mm -hmm whether in the field of philosophy as well. Tawfi al-Hakim, Tahseen, Abbas al-Aqqad, Mahmoud Abbas al-Aqqad, also Saeed al-Ghazdar, and uh, many things. I mean, this is our power, what we, which we call the, uh, the soft uh, power. Yes. So if you deal with, with the Egyptian culture as something, you want to demolish it or you want to give it a different color, whatever this color is, whatever it's Islamic or whatever it's even liberal or whatever, it shouldn't, you shouldn't play with this culture because this culture developed throughout the history and throughout the stages. What was going on in the Ministry of Culture that when once uh, uh, the Minister of Culture, uh, Ala Abdul Aziz, uh, became the Minister of Culture, he started sacking all the, um, the managers and directors of uh, uh, cultural areas or cultural uh, uh, institutions and they're placing them uh, with other people you understand without yeah. waiting for investigations or mm -hmm. our putting them into a trial even if there is a trial mm -hmm. but I think most of them were applying the previous rules and the previous uh, routine in order to enhance the culture and to let Egyptian culture continue regardless uh, the atrocities and the violence and the problems which were taking place uh, into our society in yep. the last two years. Mm -hmm. So I think uh, by uh, cancelling the, the fine arts uh, gallery or exhibition and also by not exposing like 30 paintings, I think this uh, provoked uh, the artist and uh, the, uh, I think the incident starts and violence, not violence, but uh, mm -hmm. set ends and the administration Protest, starts yeah. to take, the, take place. Yes, yes. Buhar, but yes. uh, do you think that, as Mr. Ali Abdelaziz, the Minister of Culture, said that he is fighting corruption yes. within the ministry? Yes. And of course we all know that before the revolution, corruption was everywhere in every institution or yes. a lot of institutions yes. Yes. Uh, and ministries, of course, in Egypt. Yes. Do you think that he has, uh, maybe, is he correct with this term, corruption, within the Ministry of Culture? Do you think that he is really fighting corruption? What is corruption? Corruption should be, uh, I mean, if you have a corruption, 
you should resort to law, mm -hmm. and you, you, you should make investigations, and you should have evidences. Not somebody comes to you and says, this person is corrupted, this person is, uh, is uh, uh, spending too much money, which he, it doesn't mm -hmm. deserve to be uh, spending. Mm -hmm. I mean, he has to sit and listen to people and understand what's the situation. I mean, I can't come, because otherwise it's like, like a massacre. It's like, it's like a guarantee, you know, mm -hmm. a guarantee. It's like you are killing people without investigating, without putting them into courts. This is not, it's not logical. I, if he is an artist and, and a liberal, he should talk to people and, uh, and uh, understand the situation. He, he must give himself some time to understand exactly what is going, what's going on. Yeah. This is actually what was expected. Yeah. But if you want to say, okay, uh, everybody should leave now, mm -hmm. And uh, this is not acceptable. It's not human as well. It's yes. not. Uh, uh, it's not professional. Mm -hmm. Because if you are a new into a position, into if you are a, uh, a manager, first of all you have to come, sit with the people, talk to them, listen to them, see what's going on, mm -hmm. uh, let the what we call the wheel runs mm -hmm. or the wheel of Man fire run, and, and then and then yes, yeah. and then un until you understand everything, and then tell people uh, go away or the good continues and the bad should go uh, should go away yeah. but i think uh, i think artists and uh, were provoked mm -hmm. and there was no any kind of notification before like mm -hmm. in Afab did them i hear that she she was promised that she would continue and then all of a sudden she hear that she's away mm -hmm. and ahmed megahed is the same that he found a letter uh, of resignation in his when he mm -hmm. came back, exactly. this is yeah. not uh, uh, this is not acceptable. You know, mm -hmm. if you if the revolution calls for a new way of dealing with people, you should respect. Mm -hmm. And I think there are artists who promoted the culture, and they are uh, internationally acknowledged, and they help it a lot. So yeah. at least you have to give them uh, some kind of respect. This is this is I think this is general opinion about it. Yeah. But the details. And what is going on in the Ministry of Culture, I think this is very uh, sophisticated. Mm -hmm. And I think, uh, yeah, we have what we call the culture of festivity or the culture of festivals, mm -hmm. which we spend too much money on festivals, mm -hmm. more than we spend on writers mm -hmm. and promoting culture mm -hmm. and promoting writers mm -hmm. and uh, promoting the publication of books mm -hmm. and the fine arts. Yeah. We have many talented people who don't have the chance to publish a book, mm -hmm. or even if they publish, they have to go into nepotism and recommendations. M many things away from the quality of the production, mm -hmm. the quality of writing or the painting or anything. Yeah. So we need to restructure things. But the, this kind of restructure has to be more scientific, mm -hmm. and it has to be more into uh, the future of Egyptian culture, which which actually is a cornerstone of any nation mm -hmm. because culture controls everything it, in, it penetrates in all activities yes. uh, from the advertise advertisement in the street mm -hmm. into the venting of the houses mm -hmm. in the streets mm -hmm. it's 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 the values values it uh, has to do with uh, everything yeah it, it's society. that what we call it the cultural system, the mm -hmm. cultural values. Even if you want to impose certain kind of ideology upon people, which, which culture yes, includes. This is my next question. Uh, a lot of people have accused uh, uh, Dr. Ali Abdelaziz, the Minister of Culture, that he's trying to spread the ideology of the Muslim.